Here we have 9.1 distance between two points in the plane. Exact answers. So we do need to know what the distance formula is before we can begin. So normally when they give you two points, they always write the points in this form. The first x coordinate, the first y coordinate, the second x coordinate, and then the second y coordinate. This is the notation to label the points. So you use a subscript to distinguish this x value from this x value. And so the one just means the x value from the first point, and the two means the x value from the second point. Similarly for the y values, right? Subscript means the first y value, the two means the second y value. Now, the distance formula is the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. Now, depending on what book you're using, and Alex itself has its own tutorials, um, you could see the formula like this, or you could see the formula like this. It really doesn't matter which point you use in the front and which point you use in the back. What matters is the consistency. If you're going to put the x value of the first point in the front here, you have to put the y value in the front there. And honestly, it wouldn't even matter. To be honest, it wouldn't matter what order you put the x's and the y's. As long as you have the x's together, that difference, and then the y values and that difference. Why doesn't it matter? Because when you subtract them, let's pretend one value is 2 and the other value is 3. So when I do 2 minus 3, I get negative 1. But when I square that, I get positive 1. Now what happens if I switch the 2 and the 3? I get 3 minus 2, which is positive 1. And when I square that, I still get positive 1. So the fact that you're squaring this difference means it's gonna come out the same number anyway. It's gonna come out positive and it's gonna be the same number. So it really doesn't matter which order you subtract them in. What matters is that you subtract the x values together and then you subtract the y values together, okay? So typically I like to use um, the first one. So when I go through the problems, I'll be using the first one. Um, but every now and then, if I happen to switch it up, it's okay as long as I'm putting the x values together and the y values together. So let's go ahead and work this one out. So it says calculate the difference between these two points in the coordinate plane, give the exact answer. So they don't want me to type the square root in the calculator. So I'm going to use my, I don't want to be using red for the whole problem. So we're going to um, take the x values together. So I'm going to do 3 minus 8 squared plus, and then the y values, negative 1 minus a negative 7 squared. So then I'm going to have um, negative 5 squared. Here this is going to turn to plus, so negative 1 plus 7. Think of it like this. This is a giant plus, right? So negative 1 plus 7 is going to be positive 6. And then when I square each of these numbers, I'm going to get 25 plus 36. And then that value is going to be 50, 61. And as for me not to type it in my calculator, you can try to type it in your calculator, but this is what I mean. You could type it in there to see if your calculator will simplify the radical, but do not hit the double arrow and get the decimal because that's not what they want. They want the exact answer. And this one does not simplify. So square root of 61 is the exact answer.